Ooh, yours truly, Michael St. John, along with Paul Adams. And in the ring right now, Stephen Dunn in Trailer Park Trash. And Stephen Dunn has been a man on a mission, and his mission is to try to negate the obnoxious efforts of Rex King. Rex King has literally been able, has been able to catch the attention of Stephen Dunn to the fact that Rex King is trying to snuff out the career of the one Stephen Dunn. Well, I think it's very interesting how things fall into place, Michael, sometimes, like pieces into a puzzle. Because right now, I'm taking you to school this week, the way things are uh, going around here. You know, I was just talking about politics before we left for the break in that interview there. And this is a guy who knows how to play his politics perfectly, Stephen Dunn. And that's one of the reasons Rex King is added to expose this man as a fraud. He kisses up to the promoters. He takes the right person out for drinks, yada, 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 and tries to get the top matches around here. It's not through skill. It's not through talent. It's through kissing up. And that's one of the reasons King's out here to prove that his ex-partner is nothing but a, 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 a complete fabrication of what he claims to be. I don't see how you can say that, Mr. Adams, and the fact that Stephen Dunn's face has been covered up I know on two occasions with a plastic bag. I mean, is Rex King a member of Heaven's Gate, for goodness sake? He is trying to snuff out his ex-partner. He has taken it to a level that I have not seen in professional wrestling in that he wants to end it for Stephen Dunn. I mean, he's on the edge. He is on the, if you would, edge of the envelope of criminal activity in and out of the ring in his attacks on Stephen Dunn. Oh, you haven't seen things like that before. Well, you need to get out more, Michael, and stop playing around in these uh, adult entertainment establishments and come see the action here at the uh, fairgrounds every week. I don't know. You know, they're going back at it tonight just like everybody else around here won't let up. Rex King and Steve Dunn are going in it tonight. Somebody better bring a body bag because I think Rex King is here and he's willing to take out Stephen Dunn. Tonight's going to be the final time we see Stephen Dunn. Well, let's watch your language when you talk about body bags. Hey, there's an I quit match tonight in Nashville, Tennessee. Flash Flanagan against Wolfie D. Wolfie D has an injury. We're checking on the nature of that injury even as we speak. But I can assure you one thing, that if Wolfie D has a breath left in his body, he will be here, he will be in that match tonight with Flash Flanagan, the main event at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. I was just gonna say, you know, I don't know if he's gonna be here in action tonight. He'll after be that, here. Well, after that wrist injury, who knows, but we can be sure that he's not gonna be getting a lot of action after the show with that wrist injury, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> Big card of action tonight at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena included Billy Joe Travis will take on the Colorado Kid. Uh, Terry Golden, the quote unquote champion of MCW, he's laying claim to that title too because he's got the North American belt and the Southern Heavyweight belt around his waist. He is hand picking his opponents. This is something that I think is absolutely ludicrous. Blade Boudreaux is the man he will take on tonight at the Fairgrounds Arena. The grudge match, as you alluded to, Rex King and Stephen Dunn. And allow me to allude to something else here, Michael. I don't know about where well, Blade Boudreaux is here thinking his opponents want, 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 Michael. I was out here just before, you know, I mentioned that Golden needs some top competition. I guess since the promoters around here can't do it and they're not willing to hand pick opponents for uh, Terry Golden like they did the Colorado Kids, set up the smorgasbord like they did for Colorado. Golden has to go out and pick his own opponents. He cannot possibly find a tougher man. Blade Boudreaux might quite possibly be the toughest man walking the face of the earth. There you see Trailer Park Trash going in after Stephen Dunn after hijacking him in the corner. Has that reverse chin lock on him and Dunn is down on the map. You know, you, you keep referring to things, but I can, uh, I can detect a little air of uh, perhaps disappointment in your voice, Mr. Adams, and that maybe you're not managing one of these champions in MCW these days? I'm quite happy to sit back here and explain things to you, Michael, and set you straight, and set these people at home straight that watch MCW every week. I'm just trying to tell you, did you hear what I said? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm kind of worried about Terry Golden tonight. He has to take on Blade Boudreaux. Do you know what he can do to Terry Golden? That man is an animal. Right now in the ring, Stephen Dunn taking over on Trailer Park Trash, but just as I say that, Trash rakes at the eyes of Dunn to take the advantage right back. Oh, trust me, if you're some pretty boy like Stephen Dunn, Trailer Park Trash, TPT, ain't the man to get in there with, Michael, because this guy, he don't care. He ain't afraid to get dirt under his nails. He'll go at you full steam ahead like he's doing right now, and you see he's gained a command and control of this match over Stephen Dunn. Don't shortchange Mr. Dunn. I have seen Stephen Dunn in matches with far better competition than Trailer Park Trash completely dominate the match. But right now, Trailer Park Trash has just 
lucked into a string of uh, low blows, if you would, to take the advantage. Don't count Stephen Dunn out of this or any other match, especially when it comes to his ex-partner, Rex King. Dunn has a score to settle, and it will come at the expense of Rex King, I can assure you. You know, week after week, Michael, I mentioned to you that I'm quite impressed with Trailer Park Trash, that I think he's extremely underrated around here, and you never even respond. You don't make one comment like you might agree with me. You don't think that this guy could last week after week here in Music City Wrestling, and he's been in some of the top matches without being a tough guy, and quite possibly a contender, and quite possibly end up the victor in this match? Are I, you nuts? I think this man, I'll be honest with you, Paul Adams, I think Trailer Park Trash is the next Bulldog reigns. Now what is that supposed to mean? Nice forearm by Dunn. He's got the cover. He's got the victory. Steve Dunn making easy work of Trailer Park Trash in the end. In recent events here at MCW, this man having altercations, problems with Rex King to the point, Stephen Dunn, that he's trying to put you out of wrestling using a plastic bag over your face in the ring. You know what, Michael? There's an old saying in this business. It's in life in general. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Well, let me tell you something, Rex King. For a long time, we were well done. For a long time, we were simply divine. And when we did all that, I pulled the same kind of crap you're pulling, son. So it ain't nothing new to me. But let me tell you something. Come Saturday night, I got the match sign I want. You know, ever since I've been to Music City Wrestling, they've had all kinds of matches. They've had people on scaffolds on ladders, chain matches. Well, that's all fine and dandy, because Saturday night, it ain't no gimmicks. It's just you and me. But the only stipulation is no disqualification. And what that means, Rex King, is just this. That means we can use anything in this building. That means you can bring boards, you can bring chains, powder, plastic bags, anything you want. But the catch to that is, so can I. So let me tell you something. I'm gonna make an apology right now to all these fans and Music City Wrestling. Because for the last two years, for the last two years, I've tried to follow the rules. I've tried to be a champion for these people and do what they want. And you've done a good job but Saturday night, I'm apologizing right now, Michael. It goes out the window. It's real personal, Rex. And when all the board break is done and all the chains have been used and the plastic bags have been pulled out, there's only gonna be one man standing tall in Music City Wrestling. I make my home right here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And Saturday night, when all the dust clears, and when we're beaten and bloody, there's only gonna be one man standing, one man left in Music City Wrestling, and that's Steven Dunn. And that man tonight will get his shot at Rex King. All the stakes are even. We'll be back with more on MCW right after this.